Hi, my love. Beautiful songs of Mystic Rolls. I love them. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Okay, so I've been seeing a download that you or somebody you're with, your person, may get into a uh, agreement or disagreement, argument with a family member, sibling, parent, child, aunt, uncle, somebody that you're really close with, somebody that you do care about. This argument, disagreement is going to be over something about a job, something about the money, something about bills, whatever. Um, somebody is not doing the work that they're supposed to be doing. Somebody is not putting in some effort or like assisting or helping. And somebody is just ready to, just to, ready to explode, okay? I'm hearing ready to explode, like eruption. Um, they're ready to speak their mind. They're, they're not going to hold back, not going to repress what they're feeling anymore. Um, like I said, this could be a family, this, this is a family issue. This is somebody, somebody you may live with. If, if it's not family, it could be a roommate as well. Okay, so I'm hitting a roommate you're living with, but I'm hearing that like they're not doing their parts, they're not like helping around the house, they're not like paying the bills, helping financially. Um, I am hearing some about a roommate. Okay, I am hearing some about a roommate. Um, you may be paying all the bills right now. This person may have just lost a job. I'm hearing somebody may have just lost a job or like got kicked out and you allowed this person to move in. Um, or this, again, this could be a family member as well, like a sibling, uh, you know, a parent or whatever, or a child. And somebody lost a job or got kicked out and they need to come back home and you'll let this person come in. There's going to be some kind of disagreement or argument because somebody is not like pulling their weight, okay? Somebody's not um, assisting and helping, okay? Somebody's doing all the work, okay? I'm hearing that you could be very, very stressed out about this. You're just getting irritated, annoyed that you're doing all the work and that this person or I'm hearing these people are doing all the work, okay? I'm hearing be careful with your words. Okay, be very, very careful with your words. You don't want to say something that you don't mean. You don't want to take say something that you're going to want to take back later on. So before like arguing, like, yes, speak your mind. Yes, stand up for yourself. Yes, be truthful. Truth, truthful. Oh my God, truthful. Be truthful and like stand your ground. But use it in a, uh, not passive aggressive. Don't be, don't use it in a passive aggressive, okay? Be passive, but not passive aggressive, okay? Don't be aggressive with your words. And again, like, don't say something that you're gonna wanna take back later on, you're gonna regret because it's just gonna escalate into something bigger, a bigger situation. And you don't want that because I am hearing you do, you may do, you may care about this person. And even if it's a roommate, you, you may care about this roommate as well. Um, and sometimes you say things that you don't mean. And then later on, you're like, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have said that. It's like, that was kind of a little bit disrespectful. Like, this person, I'm like, I'm hearing somebody may just lost a job and like, they just lost a job and like they got behind one month of rent or whatever or you know you're paying for everything and it's just like okay but this person usually is working they're just behind one month okay they're trying to find a job something's slow steady okay um something significant happened in their life and um by you being patient i'm hearing by you be patient and like kind of understanding as well the other side of what's happening um god will bless you and reward you by you not lashing out, exploding, um, going out of control. Because again, I'm hearing like somebody, that could be like Satan trying to make somebody like explode and like, you know, come out of their comfort zone and like come out of their norm um, just to start a big fight, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Like Satan's trying to cause a big fight between two people or between a family, okay? Satan literally is trying to cause this big fight, okay? Trying to cause complications, trying to cause some kind of dis dis um, disagreement where... You and your person or you and the people are at it, okay? Because I'm also saying, like, somebody's saying, well, get out, get out, you need to leave, you need to leave, you don't, you can't live here no more, I don't want you living here no more. But then, like, the next day you're going to wake up and you're going to, like, regret that, okay? Because you really don't mean that. So that's not what you mean. You're just heated. You're in the moment, okay? You're heated and, um, again, be careful what you think before you say, okay? Um, Stars tell me that maybe it's just best to take a break, go, you know, go into another room, walk outside take a deep breath you know give yourself five to ten minutes and like recuperate okay recuperate think about it like think about how you want to talk to this person because if, if somebody is not doing their part somebody is not um you know helping you out or um you know being useful or paying the bills or whatever's happening or you know not really being there you got you got to say something but you've got to also say it in a kindly manner as well. So you're not putting them down and making them feel like they're nobody either. Because how would you want to be treated if it happened to you? Okay, so that's the thing is kind of kind of put your shoes in their situation as well. Because the thing is, is 
what if you lost a job or what if you got kicked out because you maybe have a crazy mom or crazy dad or a brother or sister or something happened and or just something significant happened in your life and how you want to be treated so you kind of got to treat the person how you want to be treated as well even if they're in the wrong it's just yeah you know be kind be kind you guys are big dipper you guys can't see it um the big dipper so i hope this helps me again there is going to be, it, it, there is going to be an argument to scream, okay? There is something going to take place, but it's how, oh, it's how you react, okay? How you react to the situation is what I'm hearing. How you react to the situation, okay? You can react or, um, what's the word? React in a negative, negative way, or you can react in a positive way and kind of just, you know, keep your cool, okay? Keep your cool, calm your emotions, stay in control because the devil wants you to lose control. Stay in control, okay if they if you don't like what they're saying if you don't take a breather take a breather okay and firsthand i've been in that situation and i know how things can go and it, it can get ugly and that's what they're saying is that I, this situation may get very ugly but they're trying to remind you not to you know not to explode and not to you know say things before i'm um, thinking okay because you you don't want to get to that point of where you can't take those words back or um say something that you are going to regret that you can never take back okay i hope this helps i love you guys love peace like you'll never say